Okay, let's introduce Huawei's current HCIE Datacom exam version. The part two assessment is about the operation of the SDN controller. The page I'm on now is Huawei's current SDN controller for large campus networks named iMaster NCE Campus. At the exam center, we will need to configure devices via the SDN controller to meet some exam requirements. Next, I will demonstrate its basic operations to you. Before operating, I will briefly introduce to you the main modules within this large topology, which includes the topology of a branch office located in our Y city, which is a branch of the company and a pilot store of the company. Ultimately, we register to the controller in the cloud and then implement a series of operations. After the entire device is online, we can manage our equipment through the operation of the controller and perform a series of subsequent management controls, such as device plug and play, automated network deployment, business mobility, including access control, etc. When we want to log in to this product, we will actually log in as a tenant, then we will have a tenant account. This account is preset by us in advance. Finally, you can directly use it in the practice lab. For example, if we log in now and enter the tenant's name and password, we can log in. After logging in, what you can see is the current iMaster NCE Campus interface. Here we are at the part two of our exam requirements, a total of two sites, including a campus in City Y and a pilot store. We shall centrally manage the equipment on this page. So first, we definitely need to add two sites to the controller, so we click on SD1. Here we first demonstrate adding a site under site creation, site Y. The equipment contained in this park includes routers, switches, and wireless equipment. We check its device type and click OK. The site creation is now complete. In addition, we will create another site, store store, that is here we will have a branch, a branch pilot store. The devices included in it, for example, are only AR. This site will be created successfully. After that, we will import some devices into the corresponding site. Then there will be corresponding device templates provided to you. In addition, future tasks involving one link staging, including staging of zero configuration, RR connection, a series of procedures. This is all included in the solution configuration that we will need to perform in the exam. So here we will demonstrate to you an exam question about creating a VEXLAN fabric network resource pool. We can define here, for example, in the Y City campus, you will distribute the VLAN to downstream devices. For example, here we choose a range of VLAN pool, such as VLAN 2 to VLAN 4, 094. You will create this according to the needs of the questions. For example, the following is the bridge broadcast domain, which is BD. We will write from 1 to 4095, we click Add. In fact, this is the same as what we directly configure on the device, except that the controller operation side will be more simplified. Now, it is actually created. In addition, we will also configure such as its underlay automated resource pool, which contains some interconnection VLANs, interconnection IPs, loopback IPs, because we're going to also have some authentication assessments throughout part two of the exam. So that's an option that needs to be configured in the future. So this demo is actually our basic introduction to the SDN controller, and it is also our lab environment in the part two of the requirements. In the future, when everyone starts to practice the dump version, they will have a clearer understanding of it.